Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I want to know which DNS is really the fastest. If you don't know what a DNS is, it stands for Domain Name System and it turns domain names into IP addresses. So for example, let's say you have google.com. Google.com, if you type this in your browser, it redirects you to a server which has numbers and that's an IP address. So which one? Can we configure so we get that Google IP address the fastest? So that's what we're going to test today. What you can do to change your DNS on Windows is, for example, type internet first. And then you want to go to settings. And I have Wi-Fi, but you're probably going to need to click on Ethernet. So if you click on Ethernet, you should be able to find this. And I'm not connected, just like that. And here you have DNS server assignment. This is IP address, don't configure anything there, please. Here is DNS server assignment. So let's click here on edit and then click on the automatic to set it to manual. For example, we have the IP4 uh, IP address, which is the only one we're going to change for today. We have a preferred a DNS and an alternate DNS, so you can always fall back to it. So here, for example, I could do um, Google. Google is 8.8.8.8 and an alternate for them is 8.8.4.4. So if we save this right here, I of course am connected to Wi-Fi, so this isn't working. But if you do this, it's going to uh, send you first to Google's DNS, and then you get all the lists they have, and you should be able to go uh, to the websites and everything very fast. But is that really true? So I'm just going to disable this because I have Wi-Fi, so I gotta go back to network and internet, and then I gotta go to my Wi-Fi, and here I have my own Wi-Fi, and I'm just gonna click on edit, manual, there you go, and this is my DNS, there you go. But what I'm going to do first is do a benchmark without any configurations. I have hidden my IP for this speed test, so you don't know my IP address, and I'm just going to click on go without any configurations. So let's go and test how fast my internet actually is and we're going to note this down there you go it's connecting this is the ping this is how much we're uh, downloading so that's taking from the internet and here we have uh, the upload latency which is in milliseconds by the way um yeah it sends here uh this is upload it's first doing download right now here 301 so this is what we're going to of course save i'm just going to take a notepad there you go windows 11 i love it this is without uh, DNS configurations. You do have a DNS. You need it. Your, your IPS gives, gives it to you, your network provider. Uh, I'm just going to do here. This is, of course, without. And then we had downloads. There you go. And now we want upload. What was the upload? So the upload was 376. So 376 upload and M bits. That's not M byte, by the way. That's different. Here you go. One megabit is equal to one million bits. And a megabyte is equal to... Yeah, they explain it's very annoying. But for the rest, megabyte is equal to eight megabits. So that means, for example, I have here three, seven, six. So let's, for example, you have a game. Let's say um, GTA It's 120 gigabytes, not bits. And if I convert this by doing divided by eight, this is how many M bytes so megabytes i'm getting and then i can convert this by doing divided by a thousand which gives us the gigabyte and then what i can do is do times uh how much gigabytes you are going to download and then it's going to give me pretty much an estimate on how long it's going to take it's of course not true this is because this is my wi-fi speed where am i downloading it from so here i've explained you something about download and upload but okay we have download and upload right here without any DNS. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then we do a DNS, for example, Google DNS. I'm going to need to remove this. There you go. What I'm going to need to do is go to the settings and do the Google DNS. There you go. This is the Google DNS. And it should be one of the fastest, they say. So let's test it if there's any difference. There you go. We're going to test it again. Let's click on go. Of course, it's first going to grab the ping and then the downloads. And ping is, of course, how much delay there is. Here you go. It's already grabbing my download. And we're going to need to see if this is any different. So the previous one was 301. So that's pretty much 
uh, 301 megabits per second without any DNS. Okay, it's a little bit different. It's not even better. So we're going to need to save this with the download speed. And here we have to upload, which is not even better. So I had no DNS configured and now it is worse. I'm going to give it one more go. Google DNS. What Google DNS does allow you to do is visit more websites. Your IPS provider, so your network provider, is trying to block off a lot of scary malicious websites. And Google DNS allows you to access more websites normally. That doesn't mean that you should be visiting malicious websites. You shouldn't be doing this. And if you are doing this, don't. Unless you know what you're doing, you know? So here we have to download again. I'm just going to grab it. So this is second download. I'm going to grab it. There you go. So it was a little bit better. And a second upload was, there you go, 388. That's very interesting. What's faster the second time? What I'm going to do is turn off the DNS. There you go. Go back to the website and try again without any DNS. There's of course DNS, but I haven't configured it manually. It's not showing, probably booked. There you go. Let's try it again. And by the way, if you press Ctrl, Shift and R, you should be able to refresh your website, losing the cache and it should always work. Better than F5, just saying. Let's go and test it again without any DNS configurations. And the reason why I'm pretty much only testing the Google DNS is because it should be the best. We also have Cloudflare. We also have some way of blocking more ads, but it doesn't work that great. I've tested it myself. We have the ad guard DNS and it should be able to block some um, ads, I would say. But yeah, it doesn't really work. You, of course, have to install ad guard. But what you can also do is configure manually. Let's say I have a Windows system. We do. And then we scroll down, blah, blah, blah. Information, how to get to the network settings and the protocol, blah, blah. And the DNS, there you go. This is the default set, uh, surfers. This is the non-filtering. Uh, will not block ads, by the way. Will block ads and trackers. They say it works. I've tried it. It blocks some ads, not all. And I would say can block more trackers. Trackers are things they attach to you uh, so they know more about you. It's the same as cookies. You're pretty much accepting them so they can know what you're doing on the internet. But here, of course, we have a little bit more complicated DNS. This is just the preferred and this is the alternate um, yeah, you can also try these out if you want. Okay, here is the result without any DNS. And this is the second time we're testing it, which is already a lot different. So let's copy these as the second one. And then we have some results here. The Google DNS and the without manual DNS. Here you go. The average calculator. I ain't going to calculate this myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this information, then do a comma. Then we have this information, I'm going to do a comma, and it's going to give us an average. So this is the sum, the average, of course. This is the average. There you go. This is the without configurations. This is the answer. And then, of course, uh, let's download. And then we need, of course, the average of upload. Let me just do this real quick. I will be right back. So in the beginning of this video, I had a question. Does providing a manual DNS, for example, Google DNS, make your internet faster you're of course allowed more websites to see which is already a lot better but drum rolls please this is the fastest dns configuration google dns has one this is the average of the download speed of google dns and this is the average of the upload speed i haven't really done anything different except travel to another website it doesn't contain a lot of heavy information so let's say that google dns is really the winner versus the loser which is on average about yeah it depends on uploads it's of course seven less and here it is reasonably a big difference 13 m bits per second you're losing which is to calculate here you go it's a math class today people this is the average I and mean, yes we use commas here in europe yes americans i know you use dots i don't like dots it's weird you turn it around <laughs> but still that's amazing google dns has won for the one step states until the end here you go here's the google dns this is of course the preferred and this is of course the alternate and here's the same with ad guard 
uh, should be able to block some ads and trackers. Trackers, of course, to feel more safe on the internet. So here, uh, make sure you copy paste this very easily, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. I, of course, have Wi-Fi, like I said. If we go here to DNS, I'm just going to go to IP4 because you need to configure it here. This is the preferred. And then you have the add card right here. And there you go. You just click here on save. And there you go. You have the add card, um, add block, and trackers, DNS. It's, of course, not really ad blocking. I've tried it myself. But still, try it out if you want to. Maybe it's faster than Google DNS. I really enjoy making this video um it's pretty much a challenge you know against uh which is really the best these videos of course take a little bit more time but i think it makes us connect better um uh, make sure you like down below if you stayed until the end then i know how many people are loyal and i really want to respect you like i don't know i, I feel really adored here on this channel i'm so thankful for that Subscribe down below if you want me to make more videos like this. I enjoy making them. So make sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be making more of this then. I will see you in the next one. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.